it's Rachel and welcome back to Smile English Stories where you can listen to English spoken in lots of different contexts. Today I have a classic story for you, a classic tale. But first we need to look for the star of the story in my garden. Where is he? Oh, there he is, under the bush. Yes, the star of our story is a hedgehog. And we always interview stars. We interview stars for the radio, for the TV. We interview stars for magazines. So, I would like to interview this star for a YouTube video. Lights, camera, action. Hedgy is a little shy. Come on, come out. So, where is your house? Where do you live? Ah, you live in the forest or in woods and you like my garden and what do you like eating? You like eating snails? Mmm, I love snails with garlic and butter. Mm. Mm. And do you like eating grapes? You don't like eating grapes. Ah, grapes are not good for you. Grapes make you sick. They give you tummy ache. Oh. Ah, you like eating worms. Oh, that's disgusting. And where do you look for food, for things to eat? Ah, under hedges? Ah, that's why your name is Hedgehog. And where else do you look for things to eat, for food? Ah, under bushes and under leaves. Do you like milk? Oh, milk is a problem for you? Ah, milk gives the hedgehog tummy ache. It makes him sick. You prefer drinking water? Okay. Ah, not a deep bowl. Ah, yes, it's a problem. You need a shallow bowl. Okay. The hedgehog has a lot of quills. How many quills do you have? From 5,000 to 7,000 quills. Wow, that's a lot. And when do you look for food, for something to eat? Ah, at night? Oh, can you see? Oh, you can't see. But you can smell and you can hear. After the interview, Hedgy was, oh, sleepy. He was tired. So he went back to sleep in my garden. Like all hedgehogs, Hedgy loves sleeping. He loves sleeping under the bushes in my garden. And he loves sleeping under the hedges, of course. Hedgehogs sleep 
all winter. They sleep from about October or November to the spring in March or April. And then they sleep all day. They sleep for 18 hours a day. 18 hours every day. And they come out at night. They come out to look for food, to look for things to eat. But can hedgehogs run? Ah, hedgehogs can run, but slowly. They can't run quickly. But hedgehogs can climb. Watch, they can climb up walls. And they can climb up hedges. But they have a problem. When they are on the top of the hedge, they Help can't me. climb Help down. Me. I'm stuck. I can't climb down. This is the story of not one hedgehog, but two hedgehogs. Mr. Hedgehog and Mrs. Hedgehog. Mr. Hedgehog and Mrs. Hedgehog look the same. They don't look different. Can you see a difference? But you will see. Mr. and Mrs. Hedgehog are very intelligent, very smart very clever. One morning, early morning, not late morning, when the sun was coming up over the hills, the sunrise, Mr. Hedgehog was in the garden looking for snails under the bushes and Mrs. Hedgehog was in the kitchen because she was hungry and she wanted to make breakfast. Mr. Hedgehog looked at the sun and said, wow, what a beautiful morning. I am going to go for a walk. So he took the snails and he walked along the path back to the house. He opened the door. He went through the door into the house and said, Good morning, Mrs. Hedgehog. Good morning, Mr. Hedgehog, said Mrs. Hedgehog. Here you are, some nice snails for breakfast. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hedgehog said. I am going to go for a walk. Okay said Mrs. Hedgehog. I am going to cook breakfast. And she climbed up onto the table and she started cooking breakfast. But Mr. Hedgehog turned round, went out of the house and walked along the path to a big field. Mr. Hedgehog was happy. It wasn't winter anymore. It was spring. The birds were flying in the sky and a swarm of bees flew over him. Mr. Hedgehog walked 
down the path to the field. The field was a very long field and along the field was a very long hedge. But that wasn't a problem for Mr Hedgehog. He walked under the hedge and into the field. And when he got into the field, he saw a hare. A hare is bigger than a hedgehog. And a hare is bigger than a rabbit. A rabbit is smaller than a hare. A hare has longer ears than a rabbit. A rabbit's ears are shorter. And a hare has longer and stronger legs than a rabbit. The hare was very proud. He looked down on the hedgehog and said, Good morning. What are you doing here in my field? Mr Hedgehog said, Good morning, Mr Hare. How are you? I am just walking in your field. The weather is so beautiful. The birds are flying in the sky. Mr Hare said, Walking? You can walk! <laughs> Mr Hedgehog said, Yes, I can walk and I can run. Mr Hare said, Run! <laughs> you run! No, you cannot run! You can't run. Your legs are too little, Mr Hedgehog said. Oh yes, I can run. If we race, you will see I will win, Mr Hare said. It's not possible. You cannot win. I can run more quickly than you, Mr Hedgehog said. I am hungry. I am going to go home to eat my breakfast. But this evening at about six o'clock, come back to the field and we will race. And you will see who is the quickest. OK, said Mr Hare laughing. <laughs> you go home and eat your breakfast. Bye bye. See you later. Mr Hedgehog walked back under the hedge. And Mr. Hare ran down the field. Mr. Hedgehog walked back along the path to his house. He walked through the door and into the kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Hedgehog. I'm back. Hello, Mr. Hedgehog. Breakfast ready? Oh, good, said Mr Hedgehog. I'm hungry and I need energy. At the end of the afternoon, we are going to race. We are going to race Mr Hare. 
race Mr. Hare? You are crazy! We cannot run quicker than Mr. Hare. Ah, you will see, said Mr. Hedgehog. I have a plan. We are clever. We are intelligent. We are smart. We are smarter than Mr. Hare. You will see. OK, said Mrs. Hedgehog, but come and eat your breakfast. At the end of the afternoon, at about five o'clock, when the sun was starting to go down, Mr. and Mrs. Hedgehog walked out of the house and along the path down to the field. They walked under the hedge and they stopped at the top of the field. They looked down the field. Look, said Mr. Hedgehog, look at the fields. The farmer has made furrows in the field. He has been ploughing the field. He has been preparing the field to plant seeds in the furrows. I have a plan. We can hide in the furrows. Mrs. Hedgehog, you go down the field and hide at the bottom of the field. When Mr. Hare runs down the field, you can come out and say, hello, I'm here. Ah, said Mrs. Hedgehog, that's a good plan. So she walked down the field and she hid in one of the furrows. You could see her nose sticking out of the furrow and Mr. Hedgehog waited for the hare to come. At six o'clock in the afternoon, the hare ran back up the field. Hello, Mr. Hedgehog, I'm here. Are you ready for the race? No problem said Mr. Hedgehog. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, go. And the hare ran woof, down the field. Mr. Hedgehog walked one, two, three steps, and then he hid in the furrow. You could just see his nose sticking out of the furrow. When the hare got to the bottom of the field, Mrs. Hedgehog jumped out. Hello, I'm here. I've won. I am the winner. What? How? What happened? How is it possible? Mr. Hare said, Okay, let's race again. Let's race up the field. Ready? One, two, three, go! And the hare ran up the field again. Vroom. 
Mrs. Hedgehog went back in the furrow. But Mr. Hedgehog came out of the furrow at the top of the field. Hello, I'm here, Mr. Hare said. But it's not possible. What happened? How did you run so quickly? Let's race again. Let's race down the field. Three, two, one, go. Mr. Hare ran quickly down the field. And Mr. Hedgehog went back in the furrow. He hid. But Mrs. Hedgehog came out of the furrow. Hello, I'm here. Mr. Hare said, but it's not possible. How can you run so quickly? Let's race again. Let's race up the field. And the same thing happened again and again and again. After one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seventy-four times, the hare stopped. The hare was seeing stars. The hare sat down and said, I'm finished. You are the winner. You have won the race. I am going to go home. And the hare walked slowly back down the field. Mrs. Hedgehog walked back up the field. Mr. Hedgehog said, You see, we are very clever. We are very intelligent. We are very smart. We are a lot smarter than the hare. And Mr. and Mrs. Hedgehog walked back under the hedge, back along the path to their house. And they walked through the door in the house and they had a big pot of delicious worm and spider and snail soup for dinner. So that's the end of the story for today. If you enjoyed it, share it with a friend. If you would like to see more stories, then do subscribe to my channel so you will get a notification when the next story comes out. Take care and see you next time.